So Hunter Johnson working his way back here to championship court and championship Sunday. The one seed taking on the eight seed of Eduardo Irizarry. And Hunter, certainly somebody who is no stranger to playing in championship court in these men's singles matches. What are you guys looking for him to do today? Yeah, I mean, Hunter has one of the biggest forehands on the tour probably second behind brother Yates, but we won't mention that one too often. Uh, <laughs> Yo, know, Hunter's singles game uh, is really dominant as far as how much he moves the ball around and how deep he can get those, those ground strokes. He goes sideline to sideline, opens the court up, but really does a good job of, of going behind his opponent. And let's talk about his opponent, because Eduardo Irizarry, the Puerto Rican native, he is coming into this having battled his way back here, Don. He really did, and the people who he battled, too, were tough. He took out Jonathan Medina Alvarez in that bronze medal match, and I watched that match here on Friday, on Thursday night. It was absolutely incredible. You want to talk about two athletes and two guys who can cover the court like no other? Those two guys had a great battle, um, and Irizarry coming out on top to earn the right to play Hunter here on Championship Sunday. And he told me before this match he is ready for it, and so are we. Izari getting us set here for the first serve of this Championship Sunday. Yeah, that's part of the depth that I was talking about. Good deep return from Johnson. Gets up to the kitchen line quickly, and then he starts moving Azari around. Good angle, forcing Azari to try to go down the line, but pushes it wide. So quick side out, but Hunter Johnson sends that back into the net. So we go back to Eduardo here, still 0-0. Hunter with a smart call to let that one go because he calls it out. So you see now around court two, we have line judges and referees all over. So players are not calling their own lines here today. So they leave that up to our line judges. That, of course, different from the other matches in this tournament where the players do call their own lines. But Championship Sunday, you want to make sure that Every single thing is dialed in. Eduardo Irzari with the serve, trying to get his first point dialed in. Still a bit of that feeling out process right now. Irizarry trying to go big on those passing shots, but I don't know if the wind has a little bit of a factor yet at all. A nice job by Irizarry going back behind Hunter Johnson. As he had Johnson coming in, you watch him try and close ground in the middle, and then Irizarry flips backside. And Irizarry told me beforehand that he knows Hunter Johnson's style of play really well. He's ready for this fast-paced match. That one, the pickleball gets stuck in the net. You'd ideally like it to go over, not stuck in it. Hey, that's a great call, AJ. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying here, okay, to Love bring it. some really in-depth analysis. Love it. I'm going to leave that to you guys. Yeah, it's smart there from Hunter Johnson, staying on the baseline, playing a little bit of that cat and mouse game as far as moving Irizarry around the kitchen line, and then he opens up the opportunity for that good forehand roll. Our first point of the match goes to Hunter Johnson. Great. Goes the second. Yeah, great job by Hunter Johnson. Again, it's going to be tough to pass from the baseline on either one of these guys. So, again, setting that up where he gets a ball in the transition area. Now he closes that gap. Now he opens up some angles where he can close out with a passing drive. The lucky bounce there off the net for Johnson also gets it to fall. So after a lot of back and forth to start this match, Johnson seeming like he's finding a groove here with the serve. A yeah, much better return there from Irizarry. You saw in the previous point that it was a shorter return, giving Johnson 
the opportunity to pass down the line. That time, a little heavier with the backspin and a good deep penetrating return forces Hunter, Hunter back. Irizarry just going for a little too much angle on that inside out forehand. Ooh, the placement that Hunter Johnson is finding on those returns that he has, just making it really hard for Irizarry to get back to where Hunter's placing it. Yeah, but again, it, it comes down to the depth of the return. Well, that one just missing. But again, a shorter return allowing Johnson to step in. And he's got change of pace going for him right now, too. So he's not driving that ball as hard as he can. So he's creating some dip on that ball, and that's going to cause some issues for Irizarry if he doesn't change it up. You see those balls right there that Irizarry is trying to hit as hard as he can. They're rising to Johnson where he can hit down on that ball rather than taking something off it and creating that kind of hump on the ball so it drops over the net. Irizarry advancing to the kitchen line maybe to try and get some of that change of pace that you guys are talking about on the ball and it works out for him there. Johnson sending that into the net, Irizarry with the serve, looking for his first point in this first game. Well, there it goes. Johnson a little late on that two-hand backhand. And again, a change of pace from Irizarry there. It wasn't a hard drive, but had a little bit more shape to it. That right there, that's what we're talking about, right? That ball gets over the net, starts to drop a little bit, makes Johnson have to hit up instead of down on that ball. That one goes long for Irizarry. But he does get himself on the board here with his first two points. And in playing at somebody like Hunter Johnson, who not only is such an accomplished pickleball player, but still is going for the triple crown today, I have to imagine Irizarry is just trying to feel it out, make sure that he plays his style of pickleball. Quick side out. No, I think there was a, there was oh, a kitchen, Excuse me. kitchen violation from Irizarry in the middle of that point. I was just about to say, that's a much better return from Irizarry as far as it stayed low. And then Hunter Johnson just shut me up really quickly by dropping the paddlehead under in a quick roll. You, you beat me to it, too, because as soon as he hits that return, I'm like, that's a great return. Okay. <laughs> and Hunter just turns around and rips the two-hander past him. He made that look easy. Yeah, you look at you look at Hunter Johnson's balls compared to Irizarry, and there's just so much more shape on both the forehand and backhand side. He's getting that late dip, and that ball is really falling hard as it gets to Irizarry and creating the fits of, of him not being able to move that ball around enough. Yeah, it seems like you and I are almost sounding like a broken record here early at 6-2, but it's true. It's the shape on the ball of Hunter Johnson that is giving him some success. And what Irizarry needs to do right now is, instead of trying to rip that as hard as he can, take some pace off. Create that shape, create that dip over the net, and make Hunter Johnson have to hit up instead of those easy volleys where he's hitting down on. Now, do you think there's some nerves involved this early in the match? Because Irizarry had to battle his way through the back draw. You're playing somebody like Hunter Johnson. So he, I'm sure, understands, hey, I want to take the pace off the ball. But how do you settle down the nerves on this championship Sunday? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think there's, there's more pressure on Irizarry than there is Johnson right now uh, as far as he feels the need to come out and perform, perform and, and prove that he's worthy of being here. Obviously he is. He fought his way back through and he went there. But I think he's just trying to do a little too much and he's going more for, hey, I'm going to beat you with my pace rather than I'm going to beat you with my placement. But the, the movement of Hunter Johnson creates that as well. We saw Irizarry there. He had a couple of good volleys, but he's trying to push out so wide to open up the court. 
Good return there from Arizari to get the serve back on his side. That's a nice passing shot. Oh, this just missed. goes wide. That's a good ball right there from Irizarry. You watch the replay here. Goes just wide, and that's where he needs to take a little off that. That one also being called just wide. Get. See the spin on that ball? The, the side spin yeah. on it, but also noticing where Irizarry is hitting that third shot from. He was almost all the way back on the advertising boards back there. So Johnson really pushing him back. It'll be interesting to see at the end change whether it is the wind, like we've seen the last couple of days, that, that is creating the, this pressure. Too good from Johnson. And I know that, you know, Irizarry is very athletic, but I don't think he's seen a cat-mouse game like the way Hunter Johnson can play it. And so I think that could come into effect here. Irizarry getting that one. Though, so the serve comes back on his side, trailing 10-2 in this first game of this first match of Championship Sunday. Yeah, good good shape on the return there from Johnson. Again, what we're seeing from Johnson is he's mi he's mixing up the pace. So he pushed Irizarry back a couple of times. That one he goes a little bit shorter with more angle. Hunter Johnson serving for game point. Wow. Woo. Does not get it. Irizarry with some impressive athleticism like you were talking about, Dom, to get that one to fall. Well, it looked like Hunter Johnson was in control because he took that fifth ball out of the air, but Irizarry recovered extremely well. Yeah, that one lands in. So good cross-court passing shot there from Irizarry. This time Johnson going going a little softer and trying to create that angle again, but doesn't create the angle and just ends up opening up the court. Oh, I think Johnson trying to pull his paddle back down because he thinks that ball is going to go wide. Can't get it down. And this is a nice little run here for Irizarry to get in this first game. Even some momentum for the next game. Cannot get that one to go over the net zone. So it sets up another game point for Hunter Johnson. Oh, just misses the around the post. I was, gonna, I was almost going to say, yo, Johnson needed to put a little bit more. Irizarry seemed to be pushing that one like you guys are talking about just a little too far. But I'm liking the adjustment it seems like that Irizarry is making is where he's not He's taking something off those balls where Johnson's not able to get everything on it. Johnson with another game point. Game point, yep. Potential. That's one where you got to get up and blow on the ball really quickly when it's sitting on top yeah. of the net spinning right there. Is that legal? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, completely. Okay. I like this offensive timeout here from Irizarry. Um, you don't see it much in pickleball, but more and more we are seeing it. You didn't see it a lot early in pickleball, say two, three, four years ago. But now you're seeing this offensive timeout where the team wants to regroup, or Irizarry here as an individual in singles wants to regroup, gain his composure, knowing he needs to score here. He needs to get on a little run to get back in this first game or even get some momentum for game number two. Yeah, well he's, he's saved four or five game points here already. Scratch, scratch back a couple of points, but like you said, it's definitely the time 
to find some rhythm. And you're certainly not out of this. We've seen comebacks larger than this uh, in pickleball. And, and I think right here, if Irizarry can kind of just take off a little bit more, he's, he's done a better job, but we've seen him miss a couple of those balls deep, especially on the backhand side trying to go big on it. Give himself a little bit of, of, of time. It, it's almost like he's rushing up on top of the ball and jamming himself. Slow things down across the board and, and give himself a little bit more separation and space. Yeah, good pressure right there. Every comeback starts with a single point, Irizarry setting himself up. Well, that's just great point construction here from Irizarry, and he just didn't do too much. All right, he can play the athletic cat and mouse game. Uh, trouble. As soon as he missed that sitting forehand, it was trouble because it catches the net, and it's an easy ball for Johnson to now switch, the, flip the script on him. Johnson with a game point here. And that one goes out, so the first game does go to Hunter Johnson beating Eduardo Irizarry 11-5 to in this first game. Irizarry certainly making some of the adjustments that you guys were pointing out earlier, and that's when we saw him go on that run midway towards the end of that game. We'll see how he can build off of it if he can do so in game two against Hunter Johnson when we come back. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. The Pro XR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. They're brothers, they love each other, but this is gonna be an absolute battle between Hunter and Yates Johnson. Yo, Hunter is gonna have some work to do because this is a double elimination bracket. He's gonna have to beat Yates two out of three, and then again in that game to 15. Oh, wow. That is disgustingly good. Oh, wow, off the tape. Nothing Yates can do, and Hunter Johnson completes the comeback and takes game number one. Oh, what a ball. Game number two will go to Yates Johnson by a score of 11-4. We are going to a third game. Oh, nice hands from Yates. Yates Johnson posing and grunting right there. What a run from Hunter Johnson. 
Game to 15 coming up for all the marbles. Oh, he goes spin move, does Hunter Johnson on the block, and then he gets up and gets this. Here's the spin move, right back. Great shot, good point by both of these boys. Oh, oh no my way! God. Both, both of them are down on the cut. Both of them are down on the ground right now. Men wow. down, men down. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, and an your gold medalist, Hunter Johnson, comes out on top. What a comeback from Hunter Johnson. Hunter Johnson looking for back-to-back -back men's singles golds, but instead of taking down his brother here today, he'll have to take on Eduardo Irizarry. He does it well in the first game to get the 11-5 victory, but Irizarry is somebody who has a lot of opportunities still in this second game to come back. What is it going to take for him to do that? Well, he was trying to swing out of the first game, and I think at the end he figured out he needs to kind of slow up a little bit, take some pace off. If he does that, he can get right back in here. Did change the pace there, but you see that Hunter Johnson just has him running all over the court to where it seems like he's just trying to get the ball back over the net instead of controlling each point. Oh, it's too good. So, you know, a couple of those balls are up higher from Johnson. You see the forehand there from Irizarry. But then he adds that roll and that ball stays down, and it just dies as soon as it gets over the net. So a side out here, but not before Hunter Johnson takes a 2-0 lead in this second game of the men's singles gold medal match here at Championship Court in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. Oh, a little unlucky catching the net there. I don't think that was the best return there either for Johnson coming up. He wasn't even to the kitchen line by the time Irizarry was making contact. Oh, oh, he almost gets this full extension on the dive by Irizarry. Look at it again. That ball hangs up and full layout misses the around the post by a couple of inches. Fully committed on this men's, men's singles gold medal match, as you must be, Irizarry, with the serve now, trailing Hunter Johnson 0-3, trying to get on the board in the second game. Yeah, I was just about to say, so Johnson had that really good backhand roll, but he's missed the last couple of backhands into the net. You saw him between points trying to do some shadow swings. I'd be going at the backhand of Johnson right now. Oh, hand. Ears that, already that went with like a, a an overhead, like frack, right? The forehand <laughs> backhand right there. Yeah, right, yeah. And then Johnson casually off his hand. Gets himself on the board in the second game. Probably not the way he drew it up, but it did work to get him on the on the board. Now has to give the ball back to Hunter Johnson, though, on the side out. Well, that's tough right there. He's on his back heel trying to hit it as hard as he can. If you're leaning back like that, you got to take something off it. I mean, similar to what Johnson did right there. It was a good deep return from Irizarry. Johnson takes a step back and then just adds some shape to it, and it gets him back into the point where he can control it. If you're trying to, like you said earlier, hit your way out of situations, it's not going to work. And right there as well, he's trying to do too much to get that depth. Johnson, the one trying to do a little bit too much there. Gives the ball back to Irizarry, but not before building on his lead. He's at 5-2 in this game. Great serve by Irizarry right there as he pushes Hunter Johnson all the way back. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to get some short returns here by going nice and hard and deep on that serve. 
Yeah, Johnson a little off balance right now. He does have the lead, but we're starting to see a couple of chinks in the armor as far as your timing being off and, and some mishit shots. Oh, he almost had it. That's a few very close misses on the around the post from Eduardo Irizarry. But like you said, seems like he's finding a little bit of a rhythm. The question is, can he find that rhythm enough in this second game to force a third? Well, I know he didn't come out top on that point, but that was a very good point construction from him, and he was in that point the whole time. So I don't mind that from him right there. He's right back in this. A nice deep return and low return from Irizarry, continuing to put the pressure on Johnson. And we kind of feel the wind picking up a little bit more right now as well. We saw Johnson look up at the shade structure that's on the side of this court as it's blown around in the wind. Johnson talking to himself right there going, this game's simple, like I need to do that every time. But again, Irizar gives him an easy ball right here. He can just volley, punch down and back behind Irizarry. Yeah, good control there from Irizarry. Heavy backspin on that backhand down the line. Stays nice and low. And that's kind of playing to the conditions as well. We saw the courts being blown off this morning and how much dust is coming off of the courts from from under here just being out in the desert so the balls are sliding a little bit more on this court yikes <laughs> yeah just a, a hands battle that irizar is not going to come out on top of right here johnson's the initiator there speeding that up at irizari Johnson holding on to the slim lead here, 5-4. He's led this entire second game. Two really good forehands going behind Irizarry right there from Johnson. Again, making the adjustment, not overhitting. It's just placement that is keeping him in good position. Wow, those are two great <laughs> balls from Hunter Johnson. I mean, that ball was diving over the net on the first one, and the second one even more. Irizarry's got some work to do here, Chad. I mean, for us, those are big 12-6 breaking balls, right? Because, because yeah, they just, yeah. they've got so much shape on them. And when you're looking at a contact point, and, and this is moving really relatively quick for, for Irizarry, you're looking at a contact point, and you're thinking it's going to be chest high, and then all of a sudden it's at your waist. It's really hard to make that adjustment and get underneath the ball to put the pressure on. It's like facing Mariano Rivera going, I'm going to throw this. I know you know coming. I'm going to throw it, but I don't know if you can handle it, yeah. right? And that's exactly what Hunter Johnson's doing. He's going, I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to create a ton of shape on it, but ears are, can you handle it? And right now, he is time to time, but more times than not, he's not. And that's the issue right here for Irizarry in the second game. Irizarry getting some input there from Roman, his men's doubles partner that he played with earlier in this tournament. Roman telling me earlier his advice to Irizarry was, hey, this could be a once in a lifetime chance to take Hunter Johnson down in a gold medal match. So just go for it. Give it everything you've got. And certainly trailing 4-7 in this second game, already having dropped the first. This is the time for Irizarry to put that pedal to the metal and do everything he can to get this serve back. He'll take that. Not the way you drew it up, but you'll take it every time. Oh, if I could hit a net cord and just have it dribble over every <laughs> oh, you time, would. I would. You would draw it up every I time. I would. And I would, I would not even be apologetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets two. That's another one. Hey, that's a new game strategy, game plan. Let's get everything to kick off the net. <laughs> it's a strategy. Well, okay. I mean, it's it's not a high percentage, but you know, we'll take it. Two for two on the last Working one. Working so far. 
Uh, he's got to do more with that forehand volley there. Just kind of puts a paddle on it. That's a good opportunity there to create the angle. Go back behind Johnson. Open the court up more. As we mentioned, Johnson with the triple crown chance today. So he would like nothing more than to get this first one wrapped up in two games. Save himself for the next two matches that he has to play. I can't get that triple crown without the first. Can't get the triple crown without the first. Well, he's got Johnson. But as we continue to trade side outs here. Just deep. We are sitting right on that baseline, so we have about the same angle here as the referee calling that line. It's a good call. Julie Scott right on the line there making that call. The ball just wide off the backhand for your Hunter Johnson. Again, timing just a little off on that backhand side. Throughout this one, after we saw the early two-hand roll. Here's Ari doing his best to stay in this game, but you see that by the number of side outs. But this, this one, another display by Hunter Johnson of just moving the ball all over the court. Oh, he was there. He'd done all the hard work, gets himself set up nicely, and then just a little too much height and too big with that swing. I think he was almost shocked that he was in <laughs> such a good position to hit that ball. Yeah, too good from Johnson. You see the adjustment. He's almost in an identical situation with that forehand that he missed earlier. Slowed it down, dropped it in in front of Irizarry, and then created the sharp angle. I think Irizarry has had his opportunities to really put Johnson on the run, but hasn't done enough with the volleys when he's up there in the kitchen. He's kind of just, yeah, he's getting a paddle on it, but it's just a, a push back. There's no angle. There's no power created. Yeah, he does. He needs to get a little more on those volleys, create the angle a little more, and put Hunter Johnson on the move. When Hunter Johnson's able to set his feet, now he's able to dictate pace of play, where he wants to go with everything. So irizarry has got to get him on the move a little more than he is. So Hunter Johnson just three points away from winning gold here in our first championship match here on Championship Court on Championship Sunday. So he's looking for the Triple Crown. It does start with the men's single for Hunter Johnson here. Irizarry, though, trying to battle his way back into this, force a third match, and or third game, excuse me. And then if he were to win that also, they'd have to do another game, that one to 15, because Irizarry came back up through the back draw to earn his way here on Championship Sunday. So Hunter Johnson trying to get this wrapped up quick, though, because like you mentioned, he's got a lot more a lot more pickleball to play. Yeah, he doesn't want to toy around with this anymore and mess around and go to a third game. Gets it started with a good serve right there. Oh, two miss returns, two freebies, bringing up match point for Hunter Johnson. Yeah, too good. And there you have it. Hunter Johnson gets the gold, the win, and he is your men's singles champion here at the APP Mesa Open, winning in straight games, 11-5, 11-5 over Eduardo Irizarry. We'll hear from the champ and Edward, Eduardo Irizarry when we come back.
Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed-fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. Championship court here is match point for you, Hunter Johnson, Eduardo Irizarry. Yeah, just too strong here from Johnson. The two hand backhand roll putting the pressure on. A good showing by Irizarry, but ultimately Johnson coming out taking the first leg here of the Triple Crown Quest. And we'll send it down to our woman on the court. She's going to have some interviews for us here. AJ McCord, take it away. Thank you so much. How about this match, you guys, here at the APP Mesa Open? The crowd excited. What a way to start Championship Sunday. Eduardo, I'm going to start with you. A hard-fought match there against Hunter Johnson. You told me ahead of this. You knew you were going to have to give your 100%. What did it take for you to come out? You got 10 points against him. Uh, well, like I said, I tried to stay locked in, but, I mean, congratulations, Hunter, again for 400 times. Um, I tried my best, you know, but Hunter just, uh, I thought I was going to win the point and suddenly he's there and just ripping winners. So I tried my 100%. I guess I got to keep practicing and try to get better. We look forward to seeing you back here on Championship Court, but you're not walking away without your hardware. Congratulations on your silver medal. And Hunter, we're going to get you adorned with your first gold medal of the day. I know you're going for multiple of them. Let's get that one on first, though. Congratulations. You came out here with such a big goal of trying to do the Triple Crown here at the APP Mesa Open. Started out with a tough match against Eduardo. What was your strategy? Yeah, first of all, congrats, Eduardo. He had a great tournament. Uh, he's always a tough... <laughs> a little bit of feedback. Hold on. He's always a tough player to play. Um, but yeah, congrats. He made a great tournament. I'm happy to get the win, and uh, the day's not over. Hopefully, uh, we get the crowd here involved all day, and uh, let's keep this, this. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going for you. What is it going to take to keep it going? Yeah, just gonna go recover a little bit, kind of get some food, focus, maybe watch a little little film, and kind of get a game plan going, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Your initial reaction of how you started this Sunday. What do you want to change and improve upon? Um, not much to improve, I guess. I mean, I got the goal, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just trying to stay focused. Uh, Try to play my game plan, go in there, have a strategy, stick to the strategy, and uh, just, yeah, keep the energy and keep fighting. All right, keep the energy. How about this crowd? Can you give us some energy? Woo! Some big applause for Hunter Johnson. Congratulations. You are our men's singles gold medalist. Well, Hunter Johnson taking that gold, Chad. He was impressive, and he starts off his day the right way on his way to that triple crown. Yeah, I think definitely... A good start for Johnson, taking this one in two, needed it because like we talked about, he has a minimum of six more games today to get that triple crown. A much more difficult task ahead of him, firstly with men's doubles. We'll see how he goes throughout the day. All right, there's Hunter Johnson, your first gold medalist of the day.